You don't have to have a vinyl plotter to custom make your own decals for decorating helmets and items like that. As long as you have uh, some reflective vinyl or any other color, you can just size it on like this by hand, which is actually the best way, better than computer cut. And on the back side, you can hand draw the design, see if you like the way it fits, and uh, hand cut it easily, simply go from there. Now's the fun part where you can um, just size the vinyl onto the helmet or whatever you might be working on and just trace out, uh, sketch out some rough designs or shapes that you want to do and then I'll show you a quick easy way to cut a matching set. So if you have a basic shape mapped out, you can take the two pieces and just put them opposite or same sides together and that will give you opposite decal patterns. So I'm just cutting on a piece of scrap plexi here, but any, you know, safe cutting surface is good. So, okay. One of the most important things is to make sure that you have a new sharp blade and that will go through both layers of vinyl and give you a nice crisp edge. So for smooth strokes, I find it easier to just go fast and don't worry if it's smooth or not. The vinyl has enough body that it's actually really simple to do. And I didn't cut hard enough to go through here, but I have the shape I need. So now I've got an opposite. Now I get to have fun and stick them up. Okay, I'm just finishing uh, cleaning the helmet surface just with normal rubbing alcohol from the dollar store. Don't eat anything fancy or special. Just make sure that there's no um, any type of wax products or anything like that on the helmet because then literally the decal will be stuck to the layer of wax, which is what you don't want. You want it directly onto the helmet. So. I'm just kind of freestyling this helmet today, which is uh, fun, basically. This is meant to be fun, so get creative with your cutting patterns and have fun with it. So now that I have the one reflective stripe on, I really want to work the edges. Make sure the edges are sealed down really well. The best tool for this is your thumb, basically press it down with firm pressure and uh, then just do your best find a reference pattern maybe like from here to here I'm going to take a measurement start the other tip here and end it so the other tip ends there okay so I've been having fun cutting some freestyle shapes and uh, if you're uncomfortable just freestyle cutting the curves and the arcs you can simply put both pieces with same faces together and then just use a straight edge to cut some stripes and that's simple, easy, just uh, make sure you're using enough pressure to cut through both. You can give it a cute little angle tip if you want and it's as simple as that. So here's what I've done so far. I'm trying to not get too, too carried away but the customer said to go nuts so I'm going nuts. Okay, so now I'm basically satisfied with everything I've done on here. Came out fairly symmetrical. Nothing's perfect, so just have fun with it. You know, don't get frustrated. There's nothing wrong with having an asymmetrical pattern either. So I'm going to uh, show you what this looks like with the lights off and flash cam so you can see also the added safety of having reflective. This is what's left of um, my small sheet. I started out with only a uh, uh, 12 inch by 14 inch piece of vinyl that I cut in half so that I could put back to back and uh, do my symmetrical shapes. Some of them were freestyle. Um, the little center one, obviously there's no symmetry on there, just 
the back pattern and uh, yeah, have fun. Get creative and make a one of a kind helmet for yourself. So this is just one idea for some uh, project. You can use the reflective vinyl for or regular vinyl. And all this was done just with simple 12 by 14 inch piece of material. There's yellow, red, blue, black, silver. It's very fun, easy to do. I really took my time on this one and um, probably spent about 30 minutes start to finish. Um, yeah, have fun, be safe.